Fresno State interim coach Eric Kesaw sounded a bit more open to the idea of changing quarterbacks during his weekly news conference Monday. Quite honestly, I need to look more at Colorado State and kind of see what they do and, and uh, what's the best game plan for us to win, um, whether it's Jason or it's Zach. One of them definitely is, is chomping at the bit and wants to. I'm not going to say he's not. Just Friday, following Fresno State's 31-21 loss against Air Force, Kesaw was expressing his commitment to starter Jason Virgil. Virgil passed for a career-high 303 yards and three touchdowns, but he also was sacked twice and threw four interceptions. I still believe in the kid, I really do. I know it's tough to say, but because the numbers aren't there. I know the easy route to go is say, you know, let's pull him. Um, but after he made his, his uh, I think it was his second interception, I looked him in the eye and I said, I believe in you. And uh, that goes a long way with young men nowadays. On Monday, Kesaw explained why the Red Wave hasn't seen much of Zach Klein this season while Virgil has been struggling. The big thing for Zach is uh, he has to be more consistent in practice uh, with his reads and being on the right side of the field. Because sometimes when you have a strong arm, you can might be on the wrong side of the field, but you can throw really hard and really fast and squeeze it in there, and it kind of gets camouflaged because, oh, he completed that ball. Where was the ball supposed to be over there? And so, and again, that's not a knock on Zach. That's just kind of his nature and how he plays. Um, he's a little Brett Farvish. To some example, I mean, kind of, he'll get out there and scramble around, and he'll rip off a 30-yard throw. You're like, well, how'd that happen? Klein hasn't played in the past three games. He started his career in Cal, then played for two other schools before transferring to Fresno State this past offseason. The big thing for Zach is he's an older, veteran-type uh, guy, and um, he can really throw the ball. He's got a he got a strong arm. Um, he can get it out quick, and um, you know, he's more your prototypical drop-back type passer. Um, so, again, it kind of depends on what type of game plan we're going to go with uh, because when you have more of a pure drop back passer, you kind of eliminate not all of it, but some of your, your quarterback run game. So that's why it's, it's difficult uh, to say you're going to go with one guy or the other. You have to kind of prepare the team based on the game plan we're going to have and then put the best guy in that fits that picture.